1 John chapter 3 verse 8 says, Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Everyone fails and does things that we know we shouldn't be doing. Even the things we're determined to not do, we end up doing. And the things we're determined to do, we end up not doing them. The human mind is a frail one that has a hard time committing and staying the course. It is in this area of the mind where the enemy wages the biggest battles of your life in your mind. Is there a cure to heal our mind that wavers and runs away from sound reasoning? Or will we be one of those that the prophet wrote about, saying, we all like sheep have gone astray, each one turned to his own way. You see, while we were on our own way, doing what was bringing us death, Jesus shows up on the scene and he comes with a purpose and a plan to finish what he had promised and he destroys the work of the devil. I like the verse in Isaiah 53 verse six. All we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. But it doesn't stop there. It says, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's right. While we were still powerless in sin, Jesus steps in and destroys the work of the devil and sets us free from the power of sin and death. And he did this by carrying your death on himself. Because of his death, because he came in to destroy the works of the enemy, my mind can be saved, my mind can be set free, and I can choose to walk in the ways that God has called me to walk in with the power that he gives me to walk in. How are you gonna start your day? Let's start this day with gratitude for what he's done for you and me, and then let's ask him to give us the power to walk in the way that he calls us to walk in.